New tonight on 13 News Now, a rare and serious condition has left the Suffolk teen and his family searching for solutions. Alex Little Hales has the story. Like any 14 year old, Jerry McClammy loves to show his brothers who's the best. <laughs> Jerry is a teenager. <laughs> yes, he'd. He could get on my nerves. But even the simplest of joys, like basketball, come a little harder for the Suffolk teen. It was hard to breathe and I was getting tired. Well, he's kind of slowed down now because of his condition. It was this spring that doctors diagnosed Jerry with aplastic anemia, a rare condition that attacks the body's ability to produce its own blood. The last game he played, he was like, he couldn't breathe kind of toppled over, holding his stomach. They also did bone marrow testing as well. And that's when we found out that his bone marrow was not producing young blood cells. Blood transfusions are a regular part of Jerry's life with frequent trips to CHKD with his mom, Marie Veal. It's not only Jerry that I think of, I think of the other children as well. One day I feel good, the next I was tired. The condition can drain Jerry of his energy, and as of January, doctors have not yet found a complete bone marrow match. This February, he and his mom are traveling to Philadelphia to undergo a bone marrow transplant, even though Marie is only a partial match. The hope is that Jerry can soon produce his own blood, but his mother wants to share their story so others aren't in the position they are now in. Now, according to data from the organization Be The Match, black or African-American communities have a 23% chance of finding a genetic match for blood stem cell transplants the lowest of any ethnicity. From Suffolk, I'm Alex Littlehales, 13 News Now.